Hey, you know what Gran needs? What? A fella, with or without an umbrella. He'd have to look like an olive pit to get her attention. It's like a Dean Martin roast. Those are never funny to me. Yeah, they're mean. Except for Don Rickles. Totally, except for Rickles. I think she did have a man for a time squiring her around to her bitty affairs. Richard thought so too, and it horrified him. Didn't want a new daddy, huh? And then he seemed suddenly out of the picture. So great grandma never talked about him? Never. Even though I could tell practically the day she stopped seeing him. Those kinds of things are always obvious. Yeah, I guess. When a couple is in a relationship and then suddenly isn't. Right. Right. Is she still looking? Yep. Right. Um, you know, Grandma, did I mention that unfortunately I'm not with Dean anymore? No, you didn't. Well, I'm not. <laughs> well, yes, I've known for weeks, actually. But it's good that you confirmed it. How did you know? Well, you very abruptly stopped mentioning him 11 dinners ago, so I figured that was the case. 11 dinners? You kept count? 11. 11. Well, I'm sorry I didn't tell you, Grandma. Well, I think you should have. I mean, what if I had invited Dean to an event and you were no longer with him and that's how I found out? It would have been embarrassing. What sort of event would you have invited Dean to? I don't know, a wedding. For who? A mutual friend or something. You and Dean have mutual friends in common that Rory and I don't? Who would that be, the Talbots or that senior partner at Deloitte and Touche? You know what I meant. It's always best to tell each other major life events so that there's no awkwardness. Well, then, Grandma, I probably also failed to mention that I'm seeing someone else. Who? Jess. Jess? Luke's nephew. Luke from the diner. Oh. I see. Well, am I going to get to meet him soon? Oh, I, I don't know. Yeah, Mom, that might be hard to arrange. Well, how hard can it be? Just bring him over for dinner sometime. How about next Friday? Oh, I, I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah, Mom, that might be hard to arrange. It's perfect timing. Richard will still be out of town, and it would be nice to round off the group with the fourth. He works Fridays, doesn't he? Yeah, that's his usual night, Friday night. It's a bad night. Oh, OK. Well, I suppose I'll eventually meet him someday at some function. Perhaps a wedding. Or Rory's graduation. That's good. That way, we'll all get to meet him at once. Myself, Richard, Gran. Maybe I'll bring a couple of girls from the DAR. Reverend Mahoney might like to come also. You know what, Grandma, now that I think about it, I think Jess does have next Friday night off. Really? Let's make it a foursome. That'll be nice. Yeah, it will be nice, right, Grandma? Very nice. We'll have lamb. So it'll be nice for everybody? Everybody will be nice to everybody? Keyword being nice? Yes, very nice. Really, really nice? Of course it'll be nice. That's what I just said. Good. Nice will be nice. And a nice night it'll be. Well, not so nice for the lamb. Do you love it? It's great. The Holy Barbarians, I mean, what a title. And it's by a Venice Beach beatnik about Venice Beach beatniks. And to top it off, the beatnik who wrote it is the father of the guy that does those actor's studio interviews on TV. The guy with the beard? Yeah, the pointy beard. That's his dad writing at his desk. Oh, it's weird that a weird beatnik guy would have a conservative son like that. Maybe he's not that conservative. Maybe at night, he, like, takes off his clothes and parties. Oh, man, now get that picture out of my head. <laughs> it's a cool book, you gotta admit. It is. Thanks. Uh, I'm not lending it. I'm not done. Well, why'd you show it to me? I like showing you the stuff I'm reading. But you knew I'd want to read it. You're a book tease. Okay, when I'm done. Cruel woman. So you're going to work now? Back to the salt mines. So you're not tied to the hours you have, right? You can trade if you want to? There's some flexibility. You got any flexibility next Friday night? Yeah, why? I thought maybe you could come to dinner with us. Us? To my grandma's. To meet your grandmother. Yeah, she'll be there, so yeah, it might be rude not to introduce the two of you. I can't, I gotta work. You just said you could get out. Didn't know what for. Jess. No. But I already kind of agreed. Oh, man. So I'm kind of jammed here. Does she know what I look like? I don't think so. Perfect. Find someone who vaguely resembles me. Take him. Just don't kiss him goodnight. That's not going to work. Andy Warhol did it all the time. We're just five bucks away from the deal. That's worth five at least. You Gilmores think a lot of yourselves. Okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Manipulator. 